Hey there, Ray from Bridge Marina. Answering a question we get very often from our guests, which is, you know, what should we do to our boat when we bring it in for winterization? Or how should we leave it for you guys to take care of? And I thought this boat would be a good example. I happen to be out here in the yard today. This one's kind of a mixed bag. Some good things and bad things. Say so one of the great things about it is if you take a look at it, it is relatively clean in that, uh, you know, the guests took out a lot of their stuff. They had the compartments open when I hopped in. Um, if I take a look underneath, they actually took home a lot of their gear, which is great. I'd say a bad thing is I did leave an anchor line in here. And, you know, although that's not uncommon, you know, I could tell it is soaked um, and it is, there's, there's water left in the compartment as well as some mud and such, which isn't going to be great because, you know, we're going to have to get that cleaned out a little bit because it's going to fester over the winter. And that humidity out of that line is going to come out in the boat. I will leave this thing open for a bit to see if we can get it dry out some. I'm going to go over to our other seats. Uh, that one's not so good. This one's great. Nice and clean, dry. This one, you know, he's left some gear in, which isn't the end of the world, but you know, I opened it up and immediately I can tell it's all wet. Um, so this stuff's gonna need to dry out. And I'm gonna help a little bit by just opening this thing up, leaving these things out. And although I can see it's been relatively clean by having plastic bags, you know, those plastic bags are holding moisture. And it's one thing you just don't want in the boat all winter. Now, the other thing I'd point out in this one is, um, you know, the boat's a little bit dirty in general. I can see the floors haven't been cared for a little while. They haven't cleaned them all season, perhaps. They're not going to get better over the winter. <laughs> you know, hopefully we can convince them to do some cleaning with us in the spring so we can spruce this thing up. Because when the boat's clean, it just, it feels better. Um, so I always tell folks, you know, they put it away one way and, and it's not going to get prettier unless you've ordered some cleaning from us. So I suggest they do. Other than that, you know, um, I'm noticing a couple compartments. I'm seeing some leaves. I'm seeing some debris. We're going to kind of pick that stuff up, but you don't want to leave a lot of gear with the boat. So to recap a little bit, this gentleman did a good job by not leaving a lot of gear in the boat. Uh, beautiful. Um, which is great. So that one's pretty good. Left this koozie. Just take these home. Might need that over the winter. So. Point being, this was kind of a mixed bag. Some seats were really great, pulled his gear out. Some seats were really bad. Um, you know, that, namely that anchor locker and those couple life jackets. It's not much better. I'll be in there in a minute. But you want to kind of make sure your boat is relatively dry, gear out of it. And I haven't found any food, which is a good thing. Do not leave food or drink in your boat when you drop it off for winterization. It's either gonna, if we can't find it, it can explode in the winter and or, you know, things like eat it. Anyway. I appreciate you watching. Um, have any questions, reach out to us. And, uh, you know, give me a couple more minutes and I'll finish getting this boat kind of ready for winter. Take care.